Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel Radhika Tech Hub. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the part 2 which we already discussed about part 1. Uh, creating of user authorization, we generated the JWT token. So, now in the part 2, we will integrate that API and we will use the token and give, we will give the permissions to our web pages. Let's start coding. Create this API in the front end as we already created the login design page. So, we will integrate this API in our login page and we will check create our API to the login page and we will call our login page here already we designed so please find this description in the below link has been posted in the description if you want to see the login page design you can see so I'm calling our login page here so now we'll see the output we'll remove this one so you can see the output of login page and we will call the api now so this is the link, first we will copy this link, in the login page we will create one method first with the login handle, so const login handle, this time Axios has already installed Axios, first install Axios and use this one axios.post which we are using the method so and place the link so here we have to pass the email and password right so email is getting with values dot email if you has been confused about that i am using the values dot email means i am using the handling of this login page using of use formic that's why the values which has been entered and that will be stored in the variable that is initial is the method of use formic that values all values which have, we are entering will be stored in that values itself so i am using that values dot email here and the password which we are passing here is the values dot password. So after that dot then of data which have has been passing here. Here we are getting the data. First we will console it. data dot data the token which we are getting or not we will check so we call this method when i click on the login button so on click now we will see the output so open the inspect the email address the password so when I click the button here so successfully I am getting the token here so now we will use this token and we have to decode this token because if we want to get the role ID which we are the person who are logging so the person have one role id so if we want to get the role id means we have to decode it by do by taking this token we cannot find the role id right so first we have to decode this token and we will get the role id at that time so then we will use the role id based on the role id we will display the particular pages to the having access who have access so install the JWT decode NPM. 
So first we have to store this token in our local storage. Meanwhile first we will store the data in our local storage. So this time remove this and if data dot data dot status. So when it is success only we will store the token. So local storage dot set item. I am naming this as a user info, comma, data dot, with the name of token I am storing there. So this being stored in our local storage now. And then it is the success of 200 means when we are getting 200 status means we will display as the toast of login success. Nothing but a message which we are getting from the response itself. So data dot data dot message. And when I am getting success. So first we will see the output and I will show. We will navigate the to our home page. Sample home page we will create now. So if it is not 200 then it will go and pass the information which we are getting the error from the response at that time we have to display our error message also right so we will pass this now we will see now we don't oh, we require the inspect So now we will open the storage, the local storage, okay. So the password, so already we previously log in. So that's why it has been stored here also. Now again we log in. So it has been stored here with the token. So we get the login success message also if we enter the wrong password. So please check the password. So now it is not repeated to store the token here. Means only when we get the login success only at that time only we are storing our token in our local storage. When we are getting an error itself at that time that no token will be generated here. Now, when we has to get the success means at this time, first we will create our pages. A sample three pages we will be creating. That's the home page. And we will create one about page. We are not... Uh, Creating that much of just will displaying it the names itself only. We are not designing the pages. I am just showing the routing how it will happen based on the permissions itself. So has been created two pages. Now we will create the approval page. So it has been created three pages itself. Now we will route these pages. First we have to create one private route. So when we log in first we will create routes. Then after we will do that one. Yet router DOM. Yes, we will pass our browser router here. So import So 
So we will pass over app.js here. Now we'll use here routes and route. from our react router dom so here so at this time route so with the path will declare slash hmm. slash means at this time we will pass a login page here now at this time path slash home I am using here so element so first we will call our home page and about page so import so it's from So home page here and import about now we'll import our approval page So we'll call this home page here. And with the route, I'm using the private route here. So So this is a private route we has been creating now. Why I'm getting error means here I'm not closed. So here the topics which will be passing here and with the element here we will call as the home itself. So I'm copying this one. So now we will navigate when I am getting success I will navigate to home page. So at this time here we will navigate to navigate home page we have to import our use navigate so use navigate which we are using now and we have to use a const navigate equals to use navigate we'll call here so navigate already we has been taken the route as slash home here you can see here now so, when I am getting the login success with the 200, I will be going to navigate here, navigate slash home itself. 
so when i'm going to the home page so here i want to create one more page with the side now so here i'm taking the side now dot j6 so first we'll coming to here home page we will get home page here so i am dividing with this as a two divs so class name flex with the gap of four here i am dividing these two so here i want to import as a side now here So here I am calling with the div. And again with the another div, I am getting with the routes of our about approval pages. I will be calling here. King. And here the width of only one by five part. And I'm applying any color which you want to apply here and and with the another part of I am taking here as class name width of 4 by 5 and BG of blue I am taking here with 400 at least and here you want to import routes itself why I am taking all these means I want to show the permissions which has been given for particular So, I'm taking here as routes. I know that it is a long video becoming a long video, but it is very useful. Path, I'm taking the path as about for that one. And the element which I'm passing here is the about page. And the same thing which I want to call as uh, approvals page. So here approval page. So now we has been designed our home page and to the side now we will first we will see the output and afterwards we will go to our side now page so first we will see the output it is going to home page or not yes we are getting use navigate cannot be called at the top level okay so here i am getting an error okay Now I think it is removed error. Okay now. Now we will log in here. And we will see it is working or not. So it has been login success and it is going to the home page. In home page we has been called our site now. So it is successfully came. And here it is not came because nothing is there here. So successfully it is going to our home page. And when I click on the site now which is present now we will create our site now and we will see the output there. 
so in the side now i am getting the token here so before going to get the token here so we have to install the jwt decode npm so copy this and we will install so we will import it and we'll use that one so import jwt decode from jwt decode so now we will get our local storage data so first we will use our use navigate also we have to use so import use navigate so after this we will call our token here cons token i am getting here equals to local storage dot get item of what we have been named there user info so user info i am named as a local storage so here we will get the token here and we have to decode it right so decode decoded token i am naming as it so jwt decode of token which we are getting from the local storage here so it has been decoded here and i naming it as so const i am taking here as a role so with the decoded here i am decoded right so first we will see the output decoding so we'll see the output so when we are getting an output here here you can see that in the object we are getting the so employee id with the 1100 and the role id is one here you can see completely and role name is the admin which we are presenting the data with the radhika login she having of the role id with the one and employed with the 1100 and the role name is the admin here so we are getting and that is from the token we are getting the data so now we will store it in the role variable so decoded token dot data so if it is present means it will be getting of role id only we are taking role id that's why i am taking the variable if you want to get a more data means we have to store in the use state hook only so i required only one so here i will be using that one profile pages so here when role id with the one so dot includes of role so here i am storing this is we are getting from the local storage 
so we kept the ids as a 1 2 3 so for the admin it is having one so one which you are getting from the local storage role id it is matching with the one means it will be calling that will be calling that we are passing the nav link here i am calling to slash home slash approval page will call here approval okay so this time with the name it is present here as the approval itself so here will pass here as the about page for this it will be is a common page so nav link here we will pass slash home slash about so we'll see here which we are keeping okay the same it is having so we'll see the output ones here you can see here so when I click on about means it will go to about page. When I click on approval, approval page. So I will log in with another name who has not having the admin role. So So here you can see Akshaya, this is an email ID of akshayadrit.gmail.com. So this person has not having the admin role. So at this time it is not matched because admin role ID is the one with the name of admin having only role ID one. So this Akshaya is not having that role. So it is not matched with the role ID which we has been mentioned. So at this time I am only getting the about page not approval page. So particular permission, particular person having the some permissions based on the permissions itself, we are getting that pages. So this is called as authorization has giving to the permissions to the employees based on their roles. So based on the roles, we will get the pages like this. We will get this is how we will do the authorization. So based on that authorization, we are getting the permissions. Based on the permissions, we will apply the permissions to the to some pages, which is be specific only applicable to that role. So this is the how we will do the authorization and getting the permissions. Based on the permissions, we will display the web pages. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. It will give the notifications.